just at the beginning of the section where we had the coffee at the checkpoint, we've just passed through that intersection with the Novello Bridge, and we are still back on. And it's the and it's oh, yeah, so me and me and brother is going to be arriving the station. Yeah, we're gonna see where we're gonna stop. Um, a urinary station? That's in a gas station. Urinary station. A bit of a skin, yes. Okay, so we are back on NH32. NH332! And ready for the next stretch of our That's trip. Cool. Which is two and a half hours. Which is roughly two and a half hours. That's good. Yeah. Why? If we can. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy, don't hit your head. Um. Careful. So it's not bad for the next stop in about two and a half hours. The road is slightly busy, though. See, Liam, baby tractor, fast. See, baby tractor. See. There's loads of tractor trailers and um, we just have also seen loads of JCBs and that walking on the side of the road. But you know, like, like Noel said, it's because this is like a farming area, so of course there'll be loads of tractors around here. Alright! Um, okay. Me too. Alright. Okay. 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 Anything you want to say? I didn't want to add anything? No, that's just a I got a question! The next door. Yeah. And the kids are in the back playing again. I got something to tell. You got something to tell? Okay, right. Yeah. What do you want to say? just like did not slow down and there's yeah, a I barrier to that was digging. it was a bit oh yeah how can a trailer stink yes can a truck stink yes um so you still do get a lot of like, um, kind of reckless ish yeah, type of drivers, uh, bus drivers especially the buses some trucks as well because they're driving these the big state, vehicles. The state buses, the people travel, the drive, they very like this. They've got these big vehicles, so they just drive, they don't care what's in front of them because they won't get so any damage. So we've got to be extra. So here you can't fight who goes on the right and who goes on the wrong. No, you can't. Sure you just you kind of back off. Back off. Well, not back off, but you just slow down as much as okay. possible so that you've got space for them to pass from the front. Um, but yeah. Anyways, stay tuned, guys. Let's see where we're gonna stop. But there's a filling station in front. And it's on the other side. Are they in the back, Liam? Cubeless. So there's a cubeless cloud in the back. And um, my sister's gonna shave. And Liam is shaving Marika's legs with a JCB toy. 
Um, but it's literally like we still haven't had any rain for the past four or five days. And it is extremely hot and dry, so you would expect it to at least rain a little bit. Because yeah, of the heat, get, but... I don't think this like, gets that much of rain for. Because you can see, even if you look at the plants as well, it's very much like your tawny plants. Yeah, like your desert type of, not desert Just plants, like but your... like a dry area kind of plants that like, grow. Like in the Karua, when you travel from Johannesburg to Cape Town, you go through the Karua. It's similar plants, because those type of plants grow in dry areas, it's there. Um, that's why, like, it's where, like, plots are digging out. Like you touch the windscreen, the windscreen is hot. We're not feeling the heat as much. Yeah. Okay. We're not feeling the heat as much because we've got the AC on in the car. But if you touch the windscreens and that's like even the window and the side is well, it's this side is not but this side is not as hot. The front windscreen is really hot. I haven't I don't want to touch the car outside the seat because I'm sure that'll be quite hot as well. Yeah, even if you hold, the dash is cold there because of the AC, but if you touch in the front, like a right, right front yeah, it actually does burn the hands a bit. So it's definitely extremely hot. So one thing is to definitely keep water with you and keep hydrating. Since we've left Chennai, we've seen a lot of salt plains along the way, um, and loads of little goaties. Um, but yeah, yes. Huh? Yeah, we haven't seen different types of insects yet. Anyways, let's enjoy the rest of our ride, let's keep hydrated and we'll probably have a bit of snackishness like our nuts and dried fruits that we bought and some apples and oranges, we'll have on that.
minutes left to go, about 69 kilometers, until um, we reach the next stop, probably. And it's 36 degrees Celsius outside. Feels more than that. It feels a lot more than that, even with the AC on. We're still sweating, basically. Not as bad as we would without AC, but you can still feel the heat. Yet again, you still find people walking barefoot outside. Yeah. You still yeah, find people, people are having picnics outside. People are having picnics outside. Well, it's under the trees, but still, it's outside. It's in the heat. Um, people are walking barefoot on the street, and we're like, yeah, these people are crazy. Crazy, they invented. Of course, yeah, because Olivia. This is for them. This is normal. Not for us, though. For us, it's um, a little bit extreme. Okay. Hi. Yes, Liam. Another ticket. Oh, I've been getting so many tickets. Oh, I've got a tank ticket now. An escalator. I mean escalator. Sorry, sorry, escalator. Oh, I said it's a tank. It's a tank. Um. So yeah. You can see, like, even if you see outside, it's very dry. It seems like a dry area. Yeah, it seems like a very dry area. I mean, the, it's so hot as well that the road is making that, like, water mirroring effect. Um, so it looks like you're going to hit water, but there's not a drop of water anywhere near. There's a couple of clouds starting to come out, but I don't know if the... the they don't look very promising as rain clouds though. Well, Now. 